Köln. It's like about 60 floats. I did um, a, I coded a robot to simulate a parade. I um, made a parade, like, um, I made my robot move like a whole entire circle. Not really a circle, but like, basically, squares. First, teachers used tape to outline a large parade route on the floor tiles. Then, students carefully measured the distances along the route, the length of the tiles, and the number of tiles to create an outline of the track. In the end, students had a complete blueprint of the parade route they could use in their programming. Um, my robot on the first side is my melody, and the other one is Hello Kitty. I made Messi. On this side, it's Argentina. This is an international team. This is a picture of him playing. I made Bluey. is a cartoon character, which is called Bluey. And the back is how the cartoon is called, which is Bluey again. Uh, Ronald McDonald, uh, the unicorn, and uh, the claw monkey with a, a duck. Then repeat a hundred because we need it to to go one hour and here I got how much drive distances because one tile was 18 inches and there were 13 square tiles in all so I counted and multiplied them and got 234 um you just have to count the tiles and then um, you you write 18 um, times 13 because um, each tile is 18 inches, and um, there was 13 tiles on the first row. The tiles are 18 inches long. And we got like 13 times 18, because um, it, it represents the first, um, first what you call this, first way you go, like 234, because 13 times 18 is 234. There's 18 represents um, how the square is like how long the square is, and 13 is how many squares there are. Um, I create two constants called speed and tile size, where tile size is 18 inches and the speed is free. I set the speed to the speed uh, constant and then repeat infinite times the uh, custom function that I made. And in this function, I, uh, I drive, the tile size times how many tiles there are in a certain stretch of tiles, and, and then I um, turn 